Hi, I'm Pastor Cron, and we welcome you to our devotion today. We read from the book, Jesus Calling. Do not hesitate to receive joy from me, for I bestow it on you abundantly. The more you rest in my presence, the more freely my blessings flow into you. In the light of my love, you are gradually transformed from glory to glory. It is through spending time with me that you realize how wide and long and high and deep is my love for you. Sometimes the relationship I offer you seems too good to be true. I pour my very life into you, and all you have to do is receive me. In a world characterized by working and taking, the admonition to rest and to receive seems too easy. There is an intricate connection between receiving and believing. As you trust me more and more, you are able to receive me and my blessings abundantly. Be still and know that I am God. God's grace and mercy are ours through Jesus Christ. It is God's special gift to each of us, and with that gift comes a more joyful life. The little acrostic for joy, J-O-Y, is this. Put J, Jesus first in your life, then others, and then yourself. All three are important. But to do it in that order puts the right priority in line. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your mind and all your soul and all your being and love your neighbor as yourself. These are words of scripture. Put God first. Put Jesus first. And then put your fellow human next. Love them. And then yourself. Don't forget to include yourself. So when you look in the mirror tomorrow morning, say, good morning, gorgeous. God did a great job, you know, in fashioning that face and putting you on earth. And then look for ways to give God glory to shine in your life to show God your appreciation, to show God your love for God and your love for your fellow human and your love for yourself. The Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. And so these are the blessings of God for us to think about and to thank God for today. We thank God for God so loved the world and loved us, you know, that he gave us Jesus, and we put Jesus first, and then Jesus will help us when Jesus is in us first to love our neighbor and also to love ourselves. God bless you. We bow our heads in prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And through our baptisms, we became a member of God's forever family, and we look forward to that day when we will be with you and others in paradise. Help us to love others. Sometimes it's hard. Help us to forgive as you have forgiven us. And help us to accept ourselves. We're not perfect. We make mistakes. And as you forgive us, help us to forgive ourselves. In your name we pray. Amen. I once had a uh, teacher that when we left the class, he would say, make it a better day for someone else. And I would encourage you to do that. God's blessing. Bye now.